Welcome. In this section, we're going to talk about facelets templating. We'll see how we can create a new facelets template in NetBeans. Um, we'll see how we can preview the template in the browser. Then we'll see how to create a template client. And finally, we'll see facelets templating in action. But before we do all that, let's explain the problem the templating solves. So here we have the Act Publishing website, for example. And notice that there's some areas that are common across several pages. Like, for example, this header up here with uh, login and password and search and whatnot. That is there on every page, or at least on several pages. Same thing with this menu here and all the items in this area here. So we don't really want to repeat the markup for those areas on every page over and over. And what if we need to make a change? Then we have to go and change every page. So what faceless templating allows us to do is to define these common areas or whatever common areas the page has into a template and then we write template clients that inherit from the template and the common areas are just defined in one place, namely the template. So let's take a look. Um, I already have a JSF project was created just like was explained on the previous version, so that will save us some time. To create a template, we right click on web pages, say new, other, Java server faces, and faceless template. Okay, we give it a name. I'm just going to say template. And we can pick NetBeans provides several predefined styles that we can use. So here, for example, we will have a header that every page inherits from. This one will have header and a footer. This will have, this looks like it will be for our menu, so on and so forth. So for our purposes, the header, header one will suffice. So let's just use that. Okay, let's click Finish. Okay, notice this UI insert tags here. This define the common areas that are defined on the template. The clients will have a corresponding tags that they can use to overwrite the content in the template. And if one of those tags is, is missing, they'll just use the content from the template. And we'll take a look at that when we develop the client. But uh, right now, let's take a look. Or Let's look at the template in the browser to see what it looks like. So let's just right click and run. Okay, and we want template that, that XHTML. So that's what it looks like. This top here, this is the header, and that's what we want in every client. And then the content will be different for each client. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a client. So on web pages, right click on new, other, Java server faces, and faceless template client. Okay, we give it a name. I'm just going to name this one client. Folder, the default is fine. We need to specify the template that we're going to use because there could be multiple templates on a single project. Ours is called template.xhtml. Okay, generated root tag. In general, we want HTML, so this looks good. Let's click Finish. And here is our template client. Remember I mentioned that the clients have tags that correspond. Here in the, in the template, we have UI insert. And the client, we have UI define. So if the client wants to overwrite the content on the template, it will use a UI defined client, and whatever we put here will be placed on the render page in the area defined by UI insert. So, in our case, we do want the top UI insert from the, from the template, so let's just delete that. We'll just inherit 
the content from the template and we do want specific content for the client so let's just say client content let's keep it simple okay so we can right click on our client and click on run file and this is our client so all we coded was the content this this text here and this comes from the template and all the layout and CSS and everything else comes from the template so this was a very simple example but it illustrates uh, the problem that templating solves we can define all these common areas on the template and then the in the clients we just need to specify the markup that is specific to the page that we're developing so that's it for faceless templating see you all in the next lesson